Hello, hello, how are you today? I'm back here in Farm Together and you'll notice over here on the left hand side a new event starts in 23 minutes. Hours, hours, sorry about that, in 23 hours. By the time I get this online, it may be closer to 22 hours. And if it's an event I haven't done yet, um, I will be able to show you guys firsthand how that happens. And you know what? I'll take the time to go through the steps just in case I haven't. Now, I have been asked about finding farms. If I click on my farm, these are the farms I have created. And I want you to notice a little thing uh, right here where it says 1D. One day, it's been four days since I've been there. It's been 23 hours since I've been in this one. It's been 24 days since I've been in this one. 44 days since I've been in this one. And that's really cool because when I log in, I will get 1,000 gold for each day I've not been there. So I'll get 44,000 gold just by logging in, which is kind of cool. It's really nice. Now, when you're um, rotating through all your farms during an event, say if you're planting the 25 trees here and then 25 trees at Fantasy Farm and then 25 trees at A Kiss for Luck and then 25 at Home Farm, they will show you the time when you were last there. So if you lose track of where you are, it shows you what that is. Now notice over here you've got the little um, the little season thing too if you know that your tree that you've planted is only you can only harvest it in summer there's no point in going there you just go to the summer one to harvest go to the other summer to harvest and then wait till these change over so there's some little clues in here that are going to help you through events as well finding farms this is a little i'm i'll be honest i'm not entirely sure how this makes choices for you because you i know you won't see a farm listed if you have favorited a farm you're not going to see it listed unless the person is online so that's one issue you know it's like oh i just love going to this person's farm so much and you have um <coughs> you know clicked on it to favorite it i just did a right click as it shows down here and the little heart shows here now I usually do the favoriting if I'm in the in the farm and I like it you can you can choose it in there to make it a favorite your favorites will show at the top of this list if they are online if they're not it doesn't and quite frankly I don't think it's that simple either because there have been times when it was someone I was talking to was online and in they were favorited and it wasn't showing it wasn't showing online so, you know, you just you just do the best you can. If they're offline, you won't find them because they ha have to actually be online in that specific farm for it to show you which one it's it's in. So sometimes it's a, it seems like it's a little confusing, but that's that's probably why. And like I said, a couple of times that's not even made any sense. I don't really know what's going on, <laughs> but there you are. You just do the best you can. <coughs> Remember when you're looking through farms like that, if you're looking for a specific thing to harvest, know what season that thing needs to be harvested and then only go to the farms that are either in that season or in the season before. Each season, like I said, is only, I think it's 17 minutes. I should time that. I have actually timed that in the past and then I've forgotten. But... Um, you know, you you want to, you can go to the one before and then just sit there and camp it out if you really need to get you know a certain a certain event thing done. And um, but there's no point in going to one that can be harvested in the summer. There's no point in going there into in the fall unless you're willing to stay on the farm all the way through fall, winter, and spring. So keep that in mind. Look for those seasons. And I want to apologize for the slowness of my computer today. It's really bucking and giving me a hard time again, as it often does. Is it too often does? It's possible. It's possible. I'm ordering a new computer in the next day or two. Yeah. I'm quite excited. <laughs> I'm quite excited. It's about time. It's been a long time since I've, I've, I've had it. I've got a new computer. Well, new. It's still about three years old now in my flat in Scotland. Um, but I haven't had a new one here in seven or eight years, I guess. I don't know. It's been a long time. I think at least seven years. So it's it's been a while. I, I think I'm due. I think I'm kind of due for something new and awesome and exciting. But this is taking a long time, isn't it? 
Wow, sir, this is taking a long time. Come on there, computer. Hmm. If this doesn't go in the next 10 seconds or so, I think I'm going to end this recording and try again. Wow. It's just that slow today. <sighs> the poor thing's dying. It keeps crashing on me. I keep getting, you know, these blue screens of doom. It won't restart sometime. It's just, uh, I could end up crashing here. Well, so how are you guys today? <laughs> Damn, this is so bad. So the next event is coming starting tomorrow, which is kind of cool. And I don't remember what it is. I don't know if I did it right around this time last year, into January last year. I was in Scotland, um, and I was I was supposed to be staying for another while, and then I I got asked to come back to Canada. And it was just before COVID hit. Who knew that was coming? But I was really rushing around trying to close up the flat, get the lady who comes to stay and, and take care of it when I'm gone, you know, keys, blah, 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 all the things, right? And uh, packing and, and, and all the rest of it. And my, my, <laughs> my ex had actually, how do I say this nicely? He had actually entered the company country illegally I, not on purpose but just because he had uh, he had messed up uh, passport stuff <laughs> so we were running to other cities to get a passport sorted out and it was a it was a big big old mess quite frankly so I don't know if I did the next event I'm, I'm hoping I didn't just so I can have a chance to do it with you guys that would be kind of cool so first thing we want what, what month we are in summer summer just started so let's check this we have pear trees planted soybeans which has been sitting there a while I don't even know what season to plant them in uh, swordfish well we've now got a farmhand who's going to take care of that for us and the Dutch rabbits and passion fruit okay so let's hit M we have these over here that are quest related and need harvesting, so let's go do that. We will get that done first because they won't be harvestable next season. They are harvestable only this season. We get these done. We get a lot of flowers again to harvest. That's always good. And once more, I forgot to turn them on. <laughs> When I tell you guys I don't usually use it, <laughs> I think it's safe to say it's true because I never remember to turn it on for you guys. Oh, And I, I want you to be able to, you know, see the game being played, not just sitting here watching grass grow for hours and hours and hours. So let's hope. Is it working now? It is. Okie dokie then. <laughs> Blimey. So these pumpkins will be done. I planted them yesterday, and uh, they're, they're, it's a two-day crop, right? And they just planted and closed the game, and um, yeah, I did good. So there was something else that needed harvesting over here. What is over here? Well, we shall go and find it. It's the apples. Okay, there you go. And actually, I think we have apples way in the back, so let's take this way shrine this point of interest to these over here these weren't planted by me they were just on the property when we bought it so all good the habanero peppers we have done the swordfish are being uh, harvested when they come due by my farmhand we should probably go over and check on the farmhand actually and make sure his wages are still up to date we don't want the guy quitting on us now I know he's still working oh you can't see it because there's no little line through the thing saying you know he's not functioning but the little uh, basket there tells me that he's at least one hour down now we're back up to four hours so we're just sort of topping up his wages and keeping him going it is a good thing now I check Q there's nothing that needs planting right now for this particular season we've got the pear trees planted already the bunnies are wherever the bunnies are. Where did I put them? Does anybody remember? We're here, bunny, bunny. I have no idea where they are. Come on. Go, go, go. There you go. Enough food already. 
Oh, here they are, bunnies over here. Actually, what I should do is take this other spare feed thing and put it on the Dutch rabbits, I think, yeah? I think so. Man, yes, yeah, a year ago, right around this week, a year ago is when my life went tits up. <laughs> oh, I have one here already. Well, what the heck? Now I have two. This one will be good for the guys beside me, I guess. And let's feed these little goobers. So they are, we're still an hour before we're going to get any produce from them. And these guys, oh, let's do, we'll just leave them. Let's do our honey. Honey, honey, honey. Must be funny in a bee's little world. La, 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 la. I can't hear the word honey without thinking money, money, money from Mamma Mia. And I watch that so often. I like things that have happy endings. The world's got enough sad endings, right? It's just, give me a happy ending. I don't care how hokey the movie is. I want a happy ending, okay? <laughs> uh, I want to see they lived happily ever after. Uh, which isn't always true. I mean, I also love things like all the Marvel Universe movies and fun fun times and now these are done now I believe the pumpkins were what level are our pumpkins oh come on computer don't do this to me that's harsh my pumpkins are level 12 and to get that last melon open they got to be 20 so how about we just can we plant pumpkins in the summer we can because <sighs> this is going to be a long and tedious haul every level of course gets higher harder to get not by a lot, but it's definitely noticeable. It is most noticeable. So we have a new event tomorrow. I'm actually quite interested. I feel like, oh, we have a new event. I'm all excited. I have no idea what it is. I mean, nothing at all. I got no clue what this event is. So either that means I didn't do it or I was just so frantic at the time running around because, man, that was a crazy week that I have, you know, I may have sat around at night doing it because I was tired and trying to relax or something. That's entirely possible. Boy, it's taken a year. It's taken a year for me to get myself together again. This is terrible. Oh, well, some things are just too big. And you get through them when you get through them. And there's really not much you can do about it except get through them, right? Okay, is there anything I should be selling off? We get a lot of vegetables. We get some mushrooms. The cereal is there. The fish are getting close to being full. But we're going over to the house right now. And uh, we'll be using up some fish because we got to make some sushi. And in this game, all sushi has fish. <laughs> I know that's not the case. I was a vegetarian for most of my life, and I've eaten a lot of sushi that wasn't meaty at all. Okay, so let's start this over again, and we will do, because right now, this is the one we get um, the most tickets from. And I want to get enough tickets that when I have, you know, 15 farmhands, playing the game for me <laughs> then I'll be able to pay them although by the time you get 15 farmhands they really aren't playing the game for you there's so much left to do there really is an awful lot left I mean you can play this game quite literally all day every day there's always it's just like living on a farm right there's always something else to do it's great Oh, look, this one has a little tiny welcome mat at the door. Wipe your feet. It's a good thing. Okay, so we are sitting here. Anything we could have harvested for the orange bits for the quests are done. The fish are being sorted out. We've got a lot of flowers, a lot of flowers that need harvesting, um, which is great. And I'm assuming that these pumpkins over here are done. Did I feed the ducklings? I did. I fed the ducklings. Okay. My little ducklings have been fed. 
we might as well plant more pumpkin. Not the biggest money maker going, but it needs doing, so we'll do it. And then we're going to just harvest everything else. Now I'm work I'm trying really hard and it's <laughs> Man, this fasting stuff, man, I had a hard night. Oh my God, I've had a hard night. It just, it's reached that point where everything peaks. Everything, I think, hurts. Spasms, muscle spasms like crazy. Headaches that just slam and then disappear in five minutes and come back again. <clears throat> it was a long night. <laughs> Oops, I missed one. I, yeah. But, I, you know, I still got a little recording done last night. I'm doing some more today. And the thing is, when it gets like this, it's just, I don't know. I have, I have to admit, I have, taken, I have taken Tylenol for pain relief. I caved and took something to uh, help ease the mess. And I, I don't usually take stuff like that. I'm not, I'm not big on taking medications. But sometimes you just do what you got to do. <coughs> And I'm, I'm trying to get a bunch of a bunch of recording done, and I'm I'm looking at I'm very close right now to being able to take two days off recording, and I have tomorrow off streaming, and I'm going to be absolutely honest. I'm already considering the idea of taking Friday off streaming just so I can have two whole days where I can just sleep and relax and get through the a couple more days of this fasting, the longer I do it, the, the longer I will feel better, which seems to be the case. If I could go five or six days, I'd, I'd feel pretty good for probably a couple of months. It would last a while. It sounds pretty exciting to me. <coughs> oh, goodness. The, I'll be, you know, the hardest part with the fasting is is thinking about starting it. Let's be honest. <laughs> I mean, the way this feels, it, at some point you just, you almost get used to it. It's like, yeah, well, this is normal, right? <clears throat> and you start feeling kind of hopeful because you know you're gonna feel so much better when it's over. Like all of the stuff is just, you're just gonna feel better. It's gonna be great. It gets kind of exciting. It's like, oh, I can't wait. Ooh, this is so good. Oh, my goodness. And I'll be honest, what I would like to do, and, I'm, and I've done it before, but I don't, I don't, it's hard. I'd like to go for about two weeks without food. I, like, seriously, I would like to go for about two weeks without food because, man, does that change your life when you start eating again. Like, just energy you I, you feel like you've dropped three years of age or something you just everything is just energized it's amazing and I love that feeling but but I'd have to not eat for two weeks and that part's less fun than you might imagine it's true <laughs> oh goodness gracious the things <laughs> Ah, da, da, da. Thank you for letting me just sit here and ramble. Sometimes it's just like, you know, it's the it's COVID time. We're at home. We're not going out. We're not seeing a lot of new movies. We're kind of rewatching things we've seen four times already. Um, we have no big adventures to discuss while we're recording. <laughs> oh Lord. It's like, I have no life. What am I supposed to talk about? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We live in interesting times. And I can remember when thinking, oh, that sounds so cool. You know what? Honestly, honestly, there's a part of me that says we will get to say we were we were here when. And that, I don't know that that's always a terrible thing. I think it's going to be one of those things that we look back on and go, well, you know, we were here when the world changed how it looked at things. And, and maybe it was time. I think we needed a shake-up. I, I really think as, as a species, we needed a shake-up. And now we've had one. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know. Whoops, I don't need that one.
We live in historic times. We really do. There's been so much this last few years on so many levels. And for me personally, you know, having lived as a child in the United States, at least part of my childhood, um, we were living there. My, my dad was working there. And, <clears throat> you know, you go to school and you, you learn history from an American point of view, which is as, you know, I've discovered when you go, every time you go to a country, there's always their own slant on history, right? And that's true of everywhere, everywhere you go, because you're being taught what that country is interested in, and it's it's always a little bit different. And, you know, having gone to school in Canada and then lived in the UK for some time now, off and on, and... Uh, you, you kind of grow up feeling a, quite an affinity for for the country you know you were you were there as a kid you were, you stood up every morning and you know at the in school and heard the the pledge of allegiance going off and you know you get kind of get indoctrinated with this stuff so there's um you know we're like old buds right we're like childhood friends let's put it that way yeah the united states and I are like childhood friends so what happens there has always been a concern to me. I mean, I haven't been there in a few years, and quite frankly, the way life is going and things that are happening in my life, I'll pro I may never ever be back in the States. But I have seen all of the United States because as an adult, um, because I did have that affinity with it, I have traveled a lot in the United States and I've often gone back for weeks and months at a time. You know, as a, I, I can stay for a good while with each visit, and I have done that. I have done that many times, where I just go back and hang out somewhere for a while, or rent a place and stay for a bit, and get to know a, a particular state or area. And uh, I have been over most of it. There's a few states I haven't been to. I haven't been to Alaska. I haven't been to Hawaii. I've never made it to Utah, and I've never made it to Maine. I don't think. That's pretty much it. I've been to the rest of it. <laughs> I have been to the rest of it. And quite a lot of it for, like I said, months at a time. So I've traveled a bit. I'm not sure, I'm not sure that I'll ever make it back. Because there's so many other places in the world I want to see too. I have not been to Italy yet. I have not been to your, um, Egypt yet. And that one for me feels like a real problem. Man, I want to go to Egypt so bad. And yes, I hear all the talk about you know, politics and this and that and the other thing. But it's Egypt. Some things are worth the risk. Whatever the risk may be, I'm, I feel like I'm willing, you know. You just go anyway. You do the best you can to avoid all the problems, and then you just go anyway. And that's very much how I feel about it. Now the flowers, I'm, I've got a lot more flowers to do, don't I? Down here, 300. I've only got 50. That's not a whole lot of clicks. And the cereals are all gone now. Apparently I used up all the cereals doing the, uh, the, the quest things in the house. So, whoops, keep that in mind. I need to be planting cereals. So let's do that. I know the wheat needs to be leveled. Oh, that's asparagus. Wheat. I'm pretty sure the wheat, but I can't plant that until when? In the spring or winter? Well, winter's coming up. There's the thing. Oh, and it just changed till fall, so I can do these again, which are part of a quest we are fulfilling, and we're done. And now I need 40 poppies, so we're going to have to find a place to pop down 40 poppies. La, 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 la. And this year being what it is with COVID and restrictions and the rest of it, I am so glad. <laughs> I am so glad that I've kind of done a lot of things in my life. Oh man, I'm so glad I was out there get, doing and trying everything. <laughs> At least I have things I can think about. <laughs> man. And for you guys, you know, if, if you're younger and you haven't gone a lot of places yet, you haven't done a lot of different things, do them when you can. When that opportunity is back to get out in the world and do stuff, 
get out and do it guys life goes by way too fast and for those of you who are you know up in my age range you know what i'm talking about right things go too quick you gotta get out there and live it while you can so i recommend heartily trying everything just try everything <laughs> poppies Take courses for things you're only mildly interested in. You may find out you love it. What if you do? <gasps> what if you do and you never tried? Oh, that would be so sad. And what if you decide, yeah, it was fun, but I have things I like better. See, that's not bad either. Because that just means you have a new experience to base, you know, other decisions on. And that's wonderful. That's a good thing. So what can we plant? I mean, I guess I can just keep planting these darn pumpkins. It would be nice to see that level 20 behind us, because that's a big one. It is a big one. Da -da -bum -bum. So it's only been a couple, what, a week or two? <laughs> It's not been very long that I have managed to actually get three recordings up every day. Now, I, I realize they've been late sometimes. I'm hoping, I keep hoping to get a schedule where it's like I was doing 12, 2, and 3. And you know what? Maybe I should just aim for 12, 1, and 2. Just get them all up in a row. That is the busiest time. Or my viewers, the kind of people who tend to come to my channel, that's a, a, a big, thick time for them to be online. Yes, YouTube tells you that kind of thing. That's kind of cool. I love the analytic parts. It's like, ooh, I can play with this all day. <laughs> uh, and that, and what else? I have mushrooms back there to harvest, and might as well get rid of a few because I'm going to need to. <clears throat> and we run way to the back. We check on the feed of our critters. And that can be filled up there. Do, do, do. Oh, we've got food here. These are fruit for jam. Or I guess marmalade in this case, right? Give me the marmalades. We have gotten rid of some flowers, so we can harvest some more. So I sat here last night going through a bunch of games, just opening them up for a while, and I realized that it was a really bad time. Everything I tried last night, I'm going to have to do over again. I, I felt pretty darn sick last night, and I, could, I couldn't even handle this. I tried. <laughs> I tried to come in here and just do a little farming and relax. It's like, oh my god, this is so hard. I can't manage. And I opened several different games, and every one of them was just like, no, I can't do this. No, I can't do this. So <laughs> maybe in a couple of days, I'll try this again. Uh, I tried to do some of the lawn and stuff in... Um, in house flipper, I, I couldn't even. I was like, I can't even. I can't even paint a wall. <laughs> this is ridiculous. But I, you know, just looking for games that, uh, I, you know, trying to pick one that could just get into another series. And yeah, tonight, last night was not was not the best time for that. Apparently. <clears throat> Whoops! Not you. Oh, wait, I see something. Wait, 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 wait. These, didn't we need these for something else to open? Right there. This, will do these now. I'm sick of seeing pumpkins. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of pumpkins. So we're going to plant these now. <clears throat> because we can. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we've got to look at the wheat again because we'll need we'll need grains or cereals before we go back to do the house quest. So, ta da bum. And man, a half an hour has flown by. I'm just sitting here rambling. <laughs> oh my goodness! Thank you guys so much. You have the comments. If I do manage to get two days in a row off, I am going to spend those two days catching up on every blasted comment in the last month that I have not answered. I am going to answer every one of them if I can possibly manage to do that. If I'm not recording, then that's what I'm going to do because you guys have been wonderful. I love your suggestions. 
you know, it, cheering owl and, and so many of you, you have been so nice and so supportive. And somebody wrote to me on Twitter the other day going, um, you know, somebody who comes to my streams and stuff and kind of knows some of the details that have happened in my life this last year and said, I don't know, like, how, how you even bother? I don't even understand why you bother. And it, it was like, well, because people say nice things like you, like, and they, you know, they just said, we're, I'm so grateful. Thank you for what, you know, blah, blah, blah. And it was like, that's how I bother right there. You just nailed it. That is how it happens because there's these kind and wonderful people that make me feel like I'm building something that matters. You know, we're building a team. We're doing something together. We're, you know, I, you get the odd comment. It's like, I've had such a hard year myself. My my parent died or this happened or something tra horrible has happened and you know having a, a pleasant place to go has helped me through this and quill gets a lot of those quill 18 is my son-in-law if you don't know that he's one of the big youtubers and the person who dragged me into this i'm not going to say entirely against my will but i had to get pretty much pie-eyed on whiskey to do it Man, I used to be so scared. <laughs> okay, no lie. Okay, the first time I started in YouTube, and actually I had done this for about three months. For about three months, I would spend about four days thinking about doing a recording. And then I would say, okay, I'm doing it today. No matter what, I'm doing it today. And then I would start to, you know, open the, the programs and stuff to do the recording. <laughs> Oh God, and, and I'd have to do all these relaxation exercises and just exercises in general and stretches and deep breathing. And then that wouldn't be enough. I'd still be so shaking and so nervous and so afraid. <laughs> and then it's just like, okay, that's it. Get a shot of whiskey. <laughs> <clears throat> then it was like, yeah, that's not enough. I need one more. And I'd be so nervous and, and panicky that I didn't even feel the booze. That was the worst of it. It was just like, no, it can't even, it can't even get, you know, me down to a level where I can breathe. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. <coughs> and then I would do one and I would be so shaky and nervous and terrified by it that I would throw it away and do it over. And then I'd upload it, but keep it private. <laughs> just just uploading was so scary <laughs> but I didn't publish it and I didn't tell anybody I was doing this I think I put my first recording up in December and then didn't make any of them public until February February 14th February 14th um, and I didn't realize that it was that day but yeah from the first of December until February 14th before I could actually make one go live uh, it was uh, yeah it was it was I was so scared oh my god I was so scared it was funny and I'm not I don't get afraid anymore although I'll, I'll be honest almost daily I upload something and go well you're a freaking idiot like, what did I say? Did I say too much? Did I say not enough? Am I, you know, being open and honest with people? Or am I just venting and rambling and being boring and terrible and negative? And, oh, my God, you've got to smarten up. And, oh, yeah, every day. <laughs> every day, okay. <laughs> oh, gosh. I know we need turnips, too, but they go so fast. You can just sit here and level turnips like this. When the mod is on, you can just watch something and uh, on Netflix and not even have to look. You just look over to your, your movie and watch your movie and then just slowly click. You can just level that sucker up real fast, just like that. Which is not the most exciting thing in the world, is it? But it gets done. It's very nice. It gets done. Anyway, thank you guys for being for being just really nice. I, I, you are such a big part and I, I find this even hard to explain, but YouTube has gone from some, something that terrified me and made me just ill thinking about to being, 
I don't know how to say this without sounding overly dramatic, but sometimes I feel like you saved my life this year. The kindness that I have experienced and hear from people, and it, it hasn't all been kind. I have gotten some very, very unpleasant comments. Um, and I, you know, they have a right to their opinion. <laughs> and, you know what, come on, let's see. Half the time I agree with them, okay? <laughs> so that's all right. But uh, for the most part, I mean, 99% of you guys have been really kind and really sweet. And I, man, I got to find the words someday to tell you what this particular experience has been for me. And that's why, you know, sick or not, I want, I want three recordings up every day. I want this up for the rest of my life, if possible, because I feel like I owe you that. Yeah, even if there's 40 views on a, a recording, those are 40 people that I owe something to. And that's a lot of people to feel like you have a debt to them. That's a lot of people to feel like, you know, if you have like, you know, somebody lends you a hundred bucks and you feel like you have a debt to pay back, that's one. And if there's, you know, quote, unquote, only 40 people watch this video, that's 40 people that I am grateful for. And that matters a lot to me, like a lot. And this has become such a big, important part of my life. And I really, really appreciate it, guys. You are wonderful. And I thank you for that. Ooh, look, it's been a half an hour. I get to shut up now. Okay, bye-bye, guys. I will be back with more of this um, tomorrow yes i will <laughs> and maybe tomorrow we'll be looking at the event or maybe it's time to go back into the other farm that i recycled and start the rebuilding process Ooh, it sounds exciting thank you to everyone who makes my life possible bye-bye guys